Well, Christmas is in the air, and I'm at Al's Garden Home in Sherwood, and I'm with Barb. And so, Barb, you are the visual display manager here. Yes, I am. And so, all year, really, you make Al's look so gorgeous. Really, it's so pretty. But at Christmas time, you have even extra people that come in and help. Yes, Judy, I do. Uh, we have, we really have a short schedule to get everything set up. And so I bring in contract people, and um, we start actually the end of August. Wow. And start with the back areas and then go forward. Yeah, so it's, it's a very intense time, but it's a fun time because it turns out beautiful. Ah. Yeah. So, you know, um, people are, they want to bring this home. They want to, you know, right. get the ornaments right. here, and then they want their trees to look like this. So are there some tips that we can take in, when we do our trees? Yes, um, what we do, we try to start with the tops. It's wonderful to create something at the top. Um, with stems or favorite ornaments or bigger pieces. And then uh, the second step really is to put bigger things back inside oh, further. Okay. And then the smaller, you know, probably the more special things you can hang out in the front. That is smart. And really get more ornaments right. on there, make right. it more full. Correct, correct. And I love that the lights go all the way in. Yes, That yes. is so cool too, because you add so much depth. Right, right. And so if you get a green tree, you know, it's going to take more lights, but that does really add a lot to the tree. And yes. I noticed that the trees look all so different. There's white right. trees, there's green right. trees, tall. Right. And this one is so unique because it's blue. It's maybe yeah. not a Christmas color everyone uses. Well, at the markets the last couple of years, there has been a lot of blue and a lot of the icy look. And this year I thought it was wonderful because there's a deep dark blue and then there's a lighter blue. So that creates a lot of depth right there with the different shades. And icicles. Right. I think Al's always has Lots so many of icicles. icicles. Yes, so which beautiful. are very magical. They yeah. are, and they catch the light. Right. It really is so right. beautiful. Right, yes. Um, there's another tree that we're going to go look at, so let's go over there. Okay. Now, Barb, how many trees do you have at this store? We have 20 themes here in Sherwood, and the other stores are represented with some of those themes um, on additional trees. Uh, and we just came from one. You have themes for all of them. What was the other one? That, that one was considered? Morning Walk, and this one is Winter Event. And this is a great transition tree because this tree is very Pacific Northwest sure. themed, I consider it. And um, it could really go up before Thanksgiving when you uh -huh. look at the colors and all the natural touches. It's got some nice, beautiful blues again right. and some lovely coppers. It is so nice. And I just love all the ornaments with all the animals. You have right. birds and reindeers. Yes, it's yes. Really it beautiful. is great. And there's a third one that I really love, and it's really different. And tell us about that third that one. That one is Scandinavian, and the Scandinavian theme has been around the last couple of years. It's a lot of red and whites mm. and sweaters and very Nordic looking. <laughs> and so it's nice. fun because it's very Christmas to me, the red and the white. That is beautiful. Well, you know, here at Al's, there's a special event coming up. And so we're going to go to William right now, and he's going to find out all about that. Well, thank you so much, Judy. And so now I am standing here with Mark Biggie. And Mark, we are going to be talking about this wonderful event, the Evening of Lights, right? Do I remember correctly that it's been going on at least 15 years? It has. Wow. Wow, that's so long. I remember it. I remember going all the way back to Woodburn when you had had it, yep. too. So Just in it, that one it's store. amazing. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about it. Tell me what's going on, because you have four locations now. We and do. so let, fill me in on this year's event. So something that's fun this year is because we have four stores, we've decided to split it up over two weeks. Oh, wonderful. So it's going to be the first one is going to be here at Sherwood on November 1st. The next one is November 3rd at Woodburn. And then we jump the week after that, November 8th at our Wilsonville store and then November 10th at our Gresham store. Wow, and you know what I love about that is because one of the things I've always valued about shopping at Al's is that the stores are similar and yet different, so you could really yeah. see the beauty of each store at this holiday event. You can, it's kind of fun, because each store, while they have similar characteristics, they all have their own personality, yes. so it's really fun to see each store decked out for Christmas. And then outside of just seeing the beauty of, of all of this decoration, uh, there's other wonderful things going on and I'm sure there's going to be poinsettias, isn't there? there yeah, <laughs> all of our poinsettias will be out on display. We have several varieties, I think 40 varieties again this year. Wonderful. That they'll be decked out. Um, it's a really fun event. You bring your whole family and it's it just our, our season kickoff. So we have live carolers, we're going to have food and drinks, roasted nuts every year. It's a, it's a tradition, so it's a lot of fun. It's a great event. Well, you know, I I can't imagine that it's been this long that I've been coming to this event and every year it just seems to get better and better and I absolutely love the idea that now I can go and visit all four locations and see what's going on. So for more information on all of the times and happenings, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to the website. Thank you, my friend. Thanks, William.